Here's a quick example that I've made showing in our Tweedo Suite program how we can use a counter for a simple count up and count down operation. You can see I've already got the counter configured with a preset value of 3 in here, and I've made a few connections with the inputs and outputs. So first off, the D output, when I put my mouse over the counter, tells me D output is the preset has been reached. So it's looking at the two numbers and the small text inside. If they have the same value, then in this program, the part on the right side says turn on this memory bit, M0. I've also used that memory bit M0 on the left side as an input, and that's wired into the R input for the counter, so R in this case being reset. And we'll see a demonstration of that soon. Reset will send the value of the counter from wherever it was back down to zero. The count up and count down operations here, I've got them hooked up with two buttons, and for the counting up, we've got an interlocking operation where we have to have the right combination or if we can't operate both buttons together and for counting down then we can just operate one button to make that countdown operation and to demonstrate one of the error detection options with the counter i've got the overflow c0.e wired up to one of our outputs so i'll start off with um, that i0.1 if we turn that one on we immediately get a countdown it's gone from zero and it's overflowed over the negative and you can see it's turned on this part here and turned on the output. So I'm going to make this count back up again now. <coughs> so it's counted back up to zero and that error for the negative overflow is turned off. So it's okay, we'll go through that a couple more times to increase the count. Up to one, up to two, and now the next time I do this, it'll quickly count to three, and as soon as it hits three, before we even see the number three on the screen, it'll activate the reset cycle. So we've turned that on, there's the logic to make it count up. As soon as that logic has hit the number three inside the counter, it turns on this output line to the memory M0, which cycles around and resets the counter. So you can see the value's gone right back to zero in there. If we try to operate the counter with both buttons at the same time, so now I've activated input 0 0.1, and if I try to activate input 0, 0 0.0, then I'm not getting any, any option at all in there. It's just blocking that counting from going. So there's a quick example using our simulator to see what we can do with the counter using the count up, count down features and an automatic reset as soon as the counter sends its done signal it's wired that directly back to make it reset the counter back to zero which is pretty handy i've also shown here the overflow as an option that you can use to detect if something has gone wrong in the cycle so it could be if there's a bit of interference has come onto the the wire that's actually going into your input for the plc and it's made it count down too many times then this is a way of building in a bit of protection to make sure that there's nothing stupid is going to happen in your program. So hopefully that helps you to see how we can use counters in our Tweedo PLC programs.